Come and see friends. Know that whenever a soul is very great, it is not possible to remove it from the clipot except through trickery and scheming, like what happened to me, Rabbi Haim Vital. The Hitsonim had thought that I was already lost among them, God forbid, and they did not become suspicious when the Holy One, blessed is He, took me from amongst them to be at Selem, encompassing light over Harav Magid Mishne, namely Vidal of Tolosa. They thought just the opposite. They thought that it would be to their benefit, but I ended up becoming their enemy by strengthening the Harav Magid Mishne instead. You will see that many great souls are born to simpletons, and sometimes even to evil people, like in the case of Avraham, who was born to Turak. It wasn't sufficient that he made and worshipped idols, but as our sages say, and it is mentioned in the Zohar also, that Terak angered his master by being intimate with his wife during menstruation, and from which union Avraham Avinu was born. In this way, God, may he be blessed, tricked the Hitsonim, drawing into that drop of semen the soul of Avraham Avinu, without the Hitsonim being aware that this was part of his rectification. This is the reason why Terak reincarnated into Job and was punished with boils, because he was intimate during menstruation and was inflicted with leprosy. It was also for this reason that Abraham was thrown into the fiery furnace in order to become cleansed from the sin of his father in the fiery furnace. Understand likewise, King David, our beloved, did not leave the hits on him until the incident mentioned by our rabbis on the verse, Indeed, I was born with iniquity. In sin, my mother conceived me. Tehillim 51, 7. Jesse, the father of David, thought that he had been intimate with his concubine when it had actually been his wife. Likewise, his wife had emitted a drop of blood at the end of the relations, and as the verse says, in sin my mother conceived me. Tehillim 51, 7. Had it not been this way, the Hitsunim would never have allowed him to leave. This is also the same reason for Tamar fooling Yehuda into intimacy. And consider also Ruth and Boaz, as well as Rahav, the prostitute who later converted and married Yehoshua. And don't forget all the souls of converts. This is why all the kings from the house of David the Messiah have come from Ruth the Moabite, and from Boaz, who was a descendant of Peretz from the relations of Yehuda with Tamar. Likewise, Rebbe Akiva was the son of converts, a descendant of Sisera. This is the kind of trickery and scheming that the Holy One, blessed is he, does with the clipot to bring out a soul that is oppressed amongst them. Understand this well. Enough has been revealed for the wise to see. Amen.